Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today I want to show you how overpowered the new active camera node is because among the things you can do with it you can set up objects to always face the active camera and also set up easy object clippings for objects that are not being seen by the camera making it faster and quicker to render your scenes especially if you have multiple cameras with 4.1 I can have more than multiple cameras and uh, the, the plane will always face the right camera that is active. So here you can see all the trees are facing me and then I go to the next, they're still facing me. And then next, they're still all facing me. Let's create a tree quickly using a plane. So I add a plane and I just scale it up and I'll use my texture folders to import in a tree as a texture. So I'll just import this, use the base, use the alpha and and I want it to always face the camera no matter what the active camera is so let me add a few cameras maybe even have them okay so we have that animation for camera one I'm just going to duplicate this yes yeah, so something like that and uh, we can switch the different cameras so we have three cameras we have this we can use control B in the timeline to make it the first active camera and let me make sure it's still looking at the island and then here I can go to the second camera control B that is also animated lastly we can go to the top camera control B again so we go from one two and then three which is top we want to distribute a few trees on this using geometry nodes so I'm going to come in here use a distribute points distribute points on faces and then turn those into instances and bring in my plane as the geometry you can see the rotation is already off so I'm just going to rotate these depending on the active camera so uh, to access the active camera you just search for active camera uh, this is it and you have you need to have an object info node so I can just drag and select object info and uh, I want to use the rotation of this as the rotation of the instances. So make sure you also use relative so that the rotation is relative to the active camera as well. And uh, you don't want to just plug this directly into the rotation uh, because that means even when the camera is rotating like this you can see that the planes also rotate which is not what we want we want to just have these rotated in the z direction and i think these are too many so let me use a noise texture here you see that the trees are always facing us well but if we didn't have this active camera setup you can see, and uh, let me just rotate these three upright have them turn upright i think it should be the x-axis yeah you can see that without the active camera we'll see the flat side of the trees which is something we don't want uh, so we need the active camera rotation so that the trees are always facing us but if you plug the rotation directly in you can see that the tree will also bend in directions we don't want we don't want this slanting behavior so what we can do is we can separate the rotation components we only care about the z rotation of these and i think we need to rotate these 90 degrees see this rotation uses radian so this are it should be 1.57 to get 90 degrees and yeah yeah now we can just plug the z rotation of the camera in here so so that the trees are always facing the active camera just as we expect and we no longer have that uh, tilting of trees when the camera is up which is great it can also bring back the original plane like that so that's one use case for the active camera another use case is when you have a dense forest and you don't want to render everything that the camera sees so for example let's say i duplicate you can see it's already becoming quite laggy because we have a lot of of these instances so I only want to render or see what the camera is seeing so I don't want to yeah I don't want to render anything outside the camera view so I don't want to have objects 
outside the camera view like that and uh, that's fairly simple to do with this new active camera so let me just do this on a plane and uh, we can i can show you what i mean so so I, let me use a plane like this apply the scale apply the rotation and uh, i'm going to distribute a bunch of points distribute this will later become our our instances i want to create a mask that masks out anything else outside the camera view even when we change the camera that mask changes as well so to do that i'm just going to use a simple setup so i'm going to grab the active camera and uh, also plug plug it in the object info node make sure it's relative and we want to, to create a mask using a gradient texture if we look at these points through the gradient you can see we have a gradient that looks like that and uh, this gradient we can change its coordinates because right now it's using the position coordinates that start from zero zero we want the coordinates to be the position to take on the position of the object of the active camera so i can use the position here if you use vector math you can subtract the original position from the location to get the actual location of the active camera now you see what is this so here is our active camera just make sure i'm previewing that so here is our active camera and we get its location the active camera has changed now we have a new location and then we should get another location for yeah for this camera yeah so yeah the, the mask is updating what is not updating is the rotation so for example if yeah this camera rotates yeah so you see it rotates but the gradient doesn't rotate so we just have to use the rotation of the camera and rotate this vector so if i use vector rotate here to rotate this but i want to use the euler so that i use the rotation instead of the axis and uh, all i need now is the rotation but you see the rotation here is different from the rotation from the color of this rotation so i'm just going to convert i think it's rotation to euler so that I, I input the right data. Now let's see. It's inverted. So if you so if you invert it, now you can see we get the right rotation. So as the camera rotates, we get the rotation we want. We have that. Now I can use a delete a delete node. So I can use a delete geometry and just delete the points and use a compare node. To delete some of the parts but you can see we are deleting let's see i think let's see does this rotate correctly I, yes but before we do that let's uh also create the other half look at the other half of this uh, i want this to because this is running straight through the camera i want this to have to be at an angle so i'll come at the rotation here and just add some extra rotation so you can use the rotate the new rotate rotation to rotate this to give it an offset yeah so that we get something like that so now the camera rotation has a slight offset to it which is exactly what we want so we're going to repeat the same the same thing but inverted so that is on the other side so to do that I can select all of this use control d control shift d and uh, let me look at that and here let's try oh we can even just rotate this to the negative value so that we have this on this side and this on this side and now if we mix this using a mix a mix color so this and this we can use darken and that will give us the opposite let's see lighten yeah gives us that area and i can fit this now in the greater than and uh, turn back the delayed geometry and we, we are left with only what the camera is looking at now 
what is left is moving this to this setup. And you can see everything seemed to work exactly as we want. Okay, now the next thing again is to just move this setup to these to the original geometry. I'm just going to come here and move these out of the way and create a new group node, Ctrl G, and call it camera clip. I can copy that, Ctrl C, and come in here and just paste that in. It should work as expected. All I have to do is delete, delete the geometry here and use the mask we have just created. And you can see that that works perfectly. So it's only showing you where the camera is seeing. So now we can make this as dense as we want. So we can do 20 points and yeah, it's much faster than if we don't have. So let's say if I don't have this, if I don't have, yeah, this, you can see the FPS is about 12. If I turn on clipping, we have a 24 to, we, we're running around 24 to 25 FPS, uh, which is a great way to optimize uh, things. So that's how OP this, uh, this is. Uh, if you want to increase the offset so that you, uh, so that the camera doesn't accidentally clip out things you, you, you're looking at, you can just play with the angle here. I think it's, uh, yeah, this. Either one of the two, you can even expose those as parameters. And uh, basically that's how I managed to do this here. Every tree is always facing the camera. And to make sure that I don't have too much polygons, I'm not looking at too much polygons to make this too difficult for my PC. I'm using the same clipping technique to clip out uh, areas uh, that, I, that I don't want. Uh, if you want to support the channel, the best way to support it is to leave a comment and uh, maybe like the video. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you. See you in the next video.